we're gonna call the birdie. Little bird, little bird, little bird. Big bird, big bird. online. So why don't you join Jenna and see what happens in your story today. See you guys later. told the prophet Elijah to find a man named Elisha. Elisha would be a prophet to Israel after Elijah. So Elijah obeyed God. He found Elisha plowing a field and Elisha followed Elijah and served him. When the time came for the Lord to take Elijah up to heaven, Elijah and Elisha traveled to Gilgal. At Gilgal, Elijah said, Elisha, Stay here. The Lord is sending me to Bethel. But Elisha said, As long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Bethel. At Bethel, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Jericho. But Elisha said, As long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Jericho. At Jericho, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to the Jordan River. But Elisha said, As long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to the Jordan River. A crowd of prophets watched Elijah and Elisha as they stood by the river. Elijah rolled up his cloak and hit the water with it. The river parted and they crossed to the other side. Elijah asked, Is there anything I can do for you before I go? Elisha said, I want a double portion of the spirit that you have. Elijah said, If you see me go, you will have it. 
Suddenly, a chariot of fire with horses of fire appeared and drove between them. Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha watched as Elijah went away. Then he picked up Elijah's cloak and went back to the river. He hit the water and it parted for him to cross to the other side just as it had for Elijah. The crowd of prophets was there watching and they saw that the spirit that was with Elijah was now with Elisha. The prophets searched for Elijah, but they could not find him since God had taken him up to heaven. God gave Elisha the same spirit that was in Elijah, so Elisha could carry out his mission as a prophet. Years later, Jesus told his followers to wait for the Holy Spirit. God gives believers the Holy Spirit so they can share the gospel with the world. Think for a moment about what it would have felt like to be a prophet in the crowd that day. I mean, the Jordan River splits as Elijah and Elisha walk through. Then a whirlwind comes like a tornado and takes Elijah up to heaven. And then Elisha picks up Elijah's cloak, parts the water again, and walks through. I mean, God had chosen Elisha to be the next prophet and to take on from where Elijah had left off. So do you guys think that there's still prophets today? Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Matthew from Bixby, Oklahoma asks, I saw someone on TV saying they heard a message from God. Are there prophets today? That's a great question. You know, people would answer that a little bit differently. You know, it depends on how you define a prophet. If we look at the scriptures, it seems like a prophet is best understood as somebody who heard God speak to them and then in turn shared the message God gave them directly. That's why you see the prophets using this phrase, thus says the Lord, so many times because they are saying, this is not my idea, this is not my opinion, this is what God says. And that has a, a heavier weight to it than our opinions. And so for that reason, some people would look and say, no, there, there really aren't prophets like that today because we know everything God has said to us is contained in the Bible, in the scriptures, and they're not adding any more scriptures. What we have is complete. And so if somebody today were saying, God's given me a new word that I need to tell you, then that would be the same as scripture and we would be adding to the Bible. And so that's why a lot of people would say, no, there are really no prophets today like there were then. But you know, I think what really is a better question for us to explore is this. It's not a matter of are there prophets today or not. It's a matter of what has God positioned us to do? that we are to steward well the word of God he's given us, the Bible, that God wants us to share with our friends the truth that he's given us in scripture, the gospel. And so for us, the question is how do we speak fairly and accurately and faithfully the message that God has given us about Christ Jesus that we know from the scriptures, from the Bible. So who in your life has taught you God's word and what have you shared or can you share with others? All right, kids, it's memory verse time. So I'm gonna use my secret weapon, the claw, for our game today. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna give myself 30 seconds on my timer here, and I'm gonna to have to try and get these balls into this basket, but here's the trick. I have to bounce it off of here into the basket. Any of the ones that get in this basket at the end is how many words I'm gonna take out of our verse, okay? So let's go with round one. I'm gonna start 30 seconds on my timer and we'll see how many I can get in. You gotta cheer me on while you go though. And yeah, see, difficult. Oh, so close. Harder than it looks, guys. Harder than it looks. Oh yeah. 
Here we go. Oh dear. Okay, I think I got, I think I got it down now. I got about 22 seconds. And, oh, 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 this is really hard to do when you're sitting down. And 30 seconds. All right, so we are going to take out one, two, three, four words from the verse, and let's read it together. One, two, three. I am the Lord, that is my name, and I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42, eight. Okay, should we try it again? Let's see how many I can get this time. Starting 30 seconds. Oh, I can't even pick it up, that's a problem. Oh, one, two, I was already assuming that was going in. Uh, three. Uh-oh, did you guys catch that one? Ugh. How many of you want to come try this? Uh-oh. And 30 seconds, okay. Uh, yeah, not as good that round. I only got one, two, three that time. But let's try it again with three more words out of the verse. One, two, three. I am the Lord, that is my name, and I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42, eight. Ready, ready for another round? All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Uh oh, oh, I almost forgot to bounce it. That was cheating, one. How many do you think I'm gonna get? Two, three. Oh, two. Ah! <laughs> hey, went down the hole in the desk. That should be worth a point. Okay. Uh, Woohoo! Ah, uh, 30 seconds. So I got four again. One, two, three, four. Let's try to read it again on the count of three. One, two, three. I am the Lord, that is my name, and I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42, eight. All right, what do you say? Should we do one more round? Let's reset the timer here. Last round, see if I can beat four, that's my best. All right, one, woohoo, got it. Two, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Three, ah, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna try and do two at one time again. Oh, no, can't get two. That was not happening. Ooh, oh, 30 seconds. Just about missed that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Words are coming out of reverse this time, okay? Last time on the count of three. One, two, three. I am the Lord, that is my name, and I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42, eight. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. Harder than it looks. If you were here, I'd let you try. Um, but why don't we go ahead and sing our memory verse song again that we learned last week that helps us learn the words to this verse just a little bit better. So we're gonna sing that song and then you're gonna go ahead and grab your Bibles when you're all done that and I'll meet you back here uh, in just a minute.
go ahead and open up those Bibles to 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 21. I'll give you a few minutes to find it, and then we'll meet back here and we'll read it together. It says, For no prophetic message ever came just from human will, but people were under the control of the Holy Spirit as they spoke the message that came from God. So God had chosen Elisha to be the next prophet to continue on the work after Elijah. But Elisha didn't do it on his own. He had the Spirit of God with him. And we have God's Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit with us as well. And we can share God's love through the Holy Spirit. We can be messengers of God's word to those in our life today. So we're gonna spend some time worshiping God today, but let's sing a song called Give It Away. And this song talks about giving God's love away. We don't wanna keep it to ourselves. We wanna be messengers. We wanna share Christ's love with those around us. So let's sing together. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way God's love changed me more than I can say Can't keep this in, gotta let it out Gonna tell the whole world that Your love is spinning me round and round Yeah, it's turning me upside down I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away
Well, what a story we've had again today. So what are some things that double in size? Or maybe they triple in size or quadruple in size. Any ideas? I've got one. What about a little tiny seed? Either a flower or vegetable, you plant it in the soil and then what happens? It gets bigger and then it doubles again and it doubles again until you have a beautiful flower or yummy vegetables, right? What else? What if you think about when you're a kid versus when you're an adult? You just keep growing until you double or maybe even triple in size. What about a ball of yeast dough? You cover it up and you wait and it doubles in size. I've got another one for you. The air inside of the balloon makes it grow, makes it double or triple in the size that was before the air entered the balloon. So in our story today, before Elijah went up into heaven, Elisha asked for a double portion of the spirit that was inside of Elijah. And did God give it to him? Of course he did. So Elisha had God's spirit in him so he could continue the work that Elijah had done before him. But you want to know something even more cool than that? As people who believe in Jesus, we have God's spirit inside of us too. And that means that we can be bold and we can use God's strength in the Holy Spirit to share with other people the good news about Jesus. That we can share his love with the world around us. So why don't we take a few minutes now and pray and thank God that we have the ability to do that, but also that we would be able to share that with other people, that he'd give us the boldness and the strength to do that. Let's pray. Dear God, you're in control of everything. And you don't need us, but you choose to use us. And would you give us strength and boldness that we can go out and that we can share the love of Jesus with other people. And maybe we can't see people face to face right now, but God, we can call somebody on the phone or we can send an encouraging note in the mail. God, would you show us ways that we can share your love today? We ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you.